Hi, and welcome back to Applook Reviews where we demo and highlight useful software in tech. Today I'll be reviewing a handy app called Mac App Blocker, so let's dive right in. So what is Mac App Blocker? Basically it allows you to uh, password protect any application on your Mac as well as schedule time blocks for uh, times of the day that you want the application to uh, be accessible or inaccessible. So let's hop over to the website. As you can see, fairly simple uh, design. You can download a trial if you want to, to test it out. And this is just a, a brief um, look at the website just to give you an idea of what to expect and what kind of uh, developer you're dealing with. And you can look at some of the screenshots, which we uh, will not do. And just go through some of the features couple of click throughs because this app is not available on the Mac App Store usually I uh, go through this kind of stuff on on the Mac App Store but this is only available on the Mac because Apple doesn't allow uh, this kind of app to be uh, put in the Mac App Store so what are the core features some of the core features I have listed number one obviously is password protect apps so for example if you have a um, iPhoto for example and you have a friend over or you have your uh, kid that you don't want looking at your uh, photos you can p password protect any application without actually having to use a guest account which is a little bit more convenient you don't have to log out to log back into your account and stuff like that the application another core feature is that it's customizable um, you can customize a lot of uh, different options uh, within the application uh, that's specific to the overall look at the application as well as some of the options uh, for each application uh, and that basically that's defined with the rules okay and some of the preferences next automatic exit basically what this is is it if an application like iPhoto for example you have it open and you walk away from your computer you can have it set to automatically exit the application and you'll have to re-enter your password within five minutes or two minutes whatever you want to have it set to so that's a neat feature scheduling basically with this with this feature you can schedule when an application is accessible or not. So if I want, uh, what I'll actually be demonstrating this, but if I want an application to um, only be blocked from on Sunday from 1 p.m. to 4 p.m., I can actually schedule that. History. Basically, with the history, you can see um, any all of the failed attempts. So whether it was uh, someone canceled out of a dialogue when they saw the, saw that it was a password that they needed to enter, or whether they entered an incorrect password, you can have a, a view of the history and uh, see what you know what kind of activity is going on. Stuff mode. With stuff mode, you can actually take the the lock icon out of the menu bar and uh, it pretty much makes it a little bit more uh, the use of Mac app block are a little bit more inconspicuous okay and I'll actually uh, demonstrate that briefly so you can see what I'm what I'm saying and easy to use interface so let's get into the interface starting from the top we have collapse menu or excuse me collapse and what this simply does is collapses this side panel so if we click it, it collapses it only shows an icon. If we expand, it shows the icon as well as what the application is or what the icon uh, stands for. We can add an application to this uh, side panel, which essentially blocks and uh, puts a password on that application. We can remove an app application. So I can remove any one of these apps here. Here are the details so you'll see when an application was added to the block list. So I added this on April the 2nd. You'll see how many times it was blocked 
which means how many failed attempts at opening the application as far as the um, incorrect password or uh, dialogue cancellation uh, that took place and you'll see when it was last used and then within a failed attempts you can see um, the history here and if you have it activated in the preferences which I'll uh, go through it'll actually take a picture uh, using your webcam your built-in webcam if you have it set up okay here you can get help here are the preferences which I'll go into and here is where you exit Mac app blocker so next we're going to go ahead and add a new application to the block list okay and I have a lot of applications so it's taking a little bit of time to open up this application folder so here we go and I'm gonna just pick any random application add writer pro to the block list and it's, this dialog is just letting you know that if you already had this application running you'll need to uh, restart it in order for um, Mac app blocker to activate a password on it so anyway so as you can see it shows the the day that I added it and some rules on the side so some of the rules on uh, that you can apply here are rules that control what happens when the app becomes inactive uh, rules that allow users without providing your password on specified days and times which I alluded to uh, with the scheduling rules that allow users without providing your password when connected to trusted networks uh, block uses of the app until a specified time is elapsed and select how often the app can be run in a specified time period so you just click on add slash remove rules and you can see all of these different uh, options we have the same options here so right now we're just going to look at the schedule so unblock app for the specified days and times so we click that and over here and, and we can pause the schedule or remove it as well but anyway over here we can see that we have a plus symbol and so let's say Sunday once again like I was saying before uh, 1 p.m. to 4 p.m. we'll have uh, the app application only available between these times on this day and we can add or let's say we've got to the, the scheduling screen and we want the schedule to emulate one of the applications I already have blocked we can just copy from another app so we click this this drop down menu and we can see the options uh, listed here so I can add it and I can easily remove it okay another thing I want to show you really quick is how it works so when I click on uh, writer pro as you can see a dialog comes up that says type your Mac app blocker password to access writer pro okay which is the core this is the core functionality of the app in the first place so let me go ahead and type my password and once you actually enter the password then you see the application uh, comes up and now when you first uh, start the application uh, for the first time it gives you the option of protecting for extra security and so anyone who knows how to you know knows their way around a Mac Mac application or excuse me Mac system to um, kind of hack into things or just uh, deactivate certain things they'll it gives you the option to have activity monitor system preferences and terminal activated from the start so if we click system preferences we see that it's blocked so you can block any application 
like I said in the uh, introduction. So let me just and as you can see, system preferences comes up. As a matter of fact, let me show you what happens if we enter the wrong password. Submit. And as you can see, it shows a failed attempt because that was the incorrect password. So I'm going to leave it there for now. Now we want to go into preferences. So with preferences, we start out with general. We have the option to disable for this session only, show dialog when app, Mac app blocker starts, launch at system startup, exit blocked apps at startup, exit blocked apps when waking from sleep, which is recommended, capture photo with failed attempt, show security apps warning, show exit warning when closing main window, and then how this uh, panel appears over here. So we can show icon and text, icon, text only, and then large icons and or, and or small icons. And basically the best practices with this app is to have it launch at system startup as well as have these three uh, core applications blocked so that it cannot be modified. Um, this application cannot be modified at all. Okay, and as you can see before I continue, when you hover over any of these preferences, you can see down here in the description of preference, it'll give you a description of which each of these uh, preferences do. So that way, if you don't know what an option does, then you'll be able to see it in the description. All right, so password, we can... Um, change uh, the master password so enter the current password put in a new password repeat it submit lockdown we have a simple mode where apps continue to function while in lockdown and secure mode where uh, they do not function while in lockdown we can enable disable temporary lockdown we can show dialogue when entering and exiting lockdown we can require a password to enter lockdown and then this is a a hotkey uh, for this functionality. Then lastly we have stuff mode. And with stuff mode uh, basically it once again it allows you it allows Mac app blocker to operate in stuff mode which it takes this this uh, lock icon out of the picture. The lock icon in the menu bar out of the picture so that way uh, someone wouldn't actually know the, the application is running. And if we click it, we can see that the, the lock disappears and it gives us a shortcut key uh, to re-enable it and you can modify that right here, uh, the stuff mode hotkey combination. I'm going to actually take it out of stuff mode. We can show dialogue when entering that. We can uh, start Mac app blocker in stuff mode if we want and we can require password to enable disable stuff mode. And here we have two different options uh, for stuff mode, which is only when stuff mode is active. We can present password dialog, which is the normal operation, and we can present a fake error message. And you'll be able to read the description in the description of preference uh, below here. Uh, okay, and then this is just the update uh, section. Okay, and here's where you can get help. I think I said that earlier. And that's pretty much it. So Mac App Blocker is only available on OS X. You can only get it from NewSense.com and it's priced at $14.95. So my rating and recommendation overall is a 4.2. Uh, the reason why for design wise I give it a 4. It's uh, nicely designed. Um, everything seems to be where it's, where it's supposed to be as far as the, the buttons and, and uh, different options. Capability, 4.5. Reason being is that it's it says it can block an application and password protect it, and that's what it does at a high level. Um, 
Now, the reason why I gave it a 4.5 relates to performance and stability. It did, I gave it a 4, and it did crash on me one time. So, um, that could be a potential security threat if you, you know, if you uh, have an app, if you're counting on this program to protect uh, specific applications and, you know, something like a crash happened. But, like I said, it was only one time. Um, and that was a couple of weeks ago when I first got the application. And I'm not sure what I did um, to create the crash, but anyway, uh, that's what happened. Uh, the price is 4.5 because uh, for the quality and the options and customizability of the application, as well as the the security that the application uh, provides, uh, you know, especially for parents, um, you can see that it's a great value. And then competition, I give it a four because. Uh, basically, this is one of the, the best uh, Mac app blockers out there, hence the name. <laughs> and uh, for your money, I think that it's a great value. And I, and I actually think that it could, you know, people could pay up to 20 or $30. But um, there are some issues that need to uh, be worked out, like ensuring that there there are no crashes, because, of course, that would be, that would defeat the purpose of having an application like this. But at any rate, that was my review on Mac App Blocker. Thanks for watching. And if you found this review helpful to you in any way, be sure to check out the app for yourself. Watch some of my other reviews. And remember to comment, like, and subscribe below. Enjoy your day.